Hello everybody, my name is Shirley Lu and we operating the Dragon Fruit Farm since 2013 and we bought in the sips and start planting them around 2014. Tell us about the history of the Dragon Fruit. The history of the Dragon mm -hmm. Fruit? Well, there's an other name called Pitaya for Dragon Fruit. So for the benefits of the Dragon Fruit like for people who want to lose weight, stay in a good healthy diet, blood pressure, mm -hmm. you have joint problems and so on, mm -hmm. it also helps. And you can do like smoothies, salads. The skin can be eaten as well. And it has really high vitamins. You can just take off this, all that, you can eat it. And the skin, you can just slice it up. Cook it like kasi or just boil it water and drink it any way you want it. The weather is suitable to grow dragon fruit. That's the most important thing, right? And the shortage of the water, the rain and everything. So we choose to plant dragon fruit and it takes about three to four years for our first set to be expanded and everything. From flower to mm -hmm. ripe, it's about 55 days. Even though it belongs to the cactus family, that it doesn't need so much water, but Still, we do need water. When it's dry, dry weather, the soil will crack up and we need to purchase waters from the local company enterprise to purchase the water just to spray them and so on. Yeah. All our trees in here is organic. Like we only use manuals from Abbott's company, from our friends' chicken farms and everything. We don't use anything that is chemical to spray them or anything like that. So we just keep them healthy and organic. It seems like the local people are quite curious. What is this? Is it a fruit or is it a veg? They can just Google what is dragon fruit mm -hmm. and they can read all about the information, the benefits, what is it good for and everything. So most likely they will just come and purchase and say, try. And they will, they will come back and say, Hey Shirley, <laughs> yo, listen here. I actually lose weight. I say, well, good for you. So this is a big thing in your country, popularly used. Actually, it's really regular. What? Yeah, it's like everyone knows what is dragon fruit. They just, on their way to school, they just peel it for kids and just eat it on their way to school and they went, you know, just like that. <laughs> this is a huge area. How big is it with the dragon fruit cultivation? And how do you know that there are fruits that are ready when you have to go way over there? And way <laughs> over there. It's, how do you manage it? It's hard work. It's plenty efforts. It's plenty labor. Well, as you know, as a farmer, we farm with pride. So all farmers farm with pride, actually. And our maintenance is little by little. We finish cutting this side, the other side starts to grow again. Mm -hmm. When it rains, it grows faster on the grass. Mm -hmm. So, but we don't mind, it's nature. When it's picking time, we are very, very busy. Because mm -hmm. just to keep our eye on which one is ripe, which one is not ripe and then you know mm -hmm. a lot of work and a lot of time we actually uh -huh. sell them okay. to supermarkets and we let the locals people who purchase from us okay. and let them make a, uh, a profit out of you know the daily sale that they make so we sold it to them and then they wholesale or they single sell it's up to them we trying to get every spot mm -hmm. as we can Mm -hmm. Just to show As that permanent yes. areas where you can send people to, yeah, like uh -huh. supermarkets okay. and right. them is mm -hmm. like Epicurans and First Choice. First Choice, we actually sell them the um, fruit cups. We cut it up, mm -hmm. pack it nicely with uh, barcode and price up, okay. and then we sold it to them. Actually, okay. yeah, but the okay. other areas that you see us on the road selling, mm -hmm. it is because we are really trying hard for you guys to see. Yes, it's available because it's from June to December. Uh -huh. It's not whole year round, it's on the season. Uh -huh. 